All right, here we are. Good morning. My name is Alan. I'm a guitar instructor with Rock Island Sound, and we're putting this on through the Westchester Children's Museum. I would like to thank everybody. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the 12 string guitar. So, as I said earlier, demos there's a lot of different types of guitars so let me just play a little bit on this so you get an idea of what the sound is <laughs> As you can tell it has a very distinct sound it's not the sound of a six string guitar and for all good reason it has a double set of strings so it's probably hard to see from there but there's six tuning machines on the top there are six tuning machines on the bottom and the strings are played in pairs so sometimes a big word for that is like courses of strings. So where there is normally the sixth string on a regular guitar, that would be the lowest note that played, the lowest pitch, lowest sounding pitch. Okay? But what they do is when they double the individual strings, all six of them, for the bottom four, it's a higher octave that is on the sixth string. It's a higher octave towards the ceiling of the fifth string. Same with the third, fourth string, sorry. Third string, that's a high pitch. That third string in regular tuning is higher than the first string, which is normally the highest string. Now, the top two sets of strings, the second and the first, as we label them, the second string, they're supposed to be the same, unison, like hitting the same exact key on the piano. It just gives it a brighter, chimier sound. So. here it's supposed to be the same pitch okay and when you strum through all of them normally when you strum down on a guitar the lowest notes would be the first ones you hear on the 12 string they're not it's kind of like it's just a different sound it's hard to describe it unless you hear it so I'm just going to strum through now this particular guitar is in what we call open tuning. So what does that mean? Open tuning means that the guitar strings are already tuned to a chord. And a chord is when you stack individual notes up on top of each other. So if any of you have a piano at home and you just bang down on some keys, you're probably making some chord, but it it may sound good or may not. In this case, when I just strum through, it is already a chord. So the fretting, remember, the fretting is when you change the length of the strings. So by pressing down with your finger, you're shortening the length of that particular string, which makes it sound higher. So to get a good idea of the difference of the sound of these two, I'm just going to strum through. I'm going to try to play something on this guitar, and then I'm going to play it on a six string guitar. It has a very 
full, I mean, I hate to say, almost like a harpsichord type sound. It's very, it's a little tinty, but... So that sound right there, if you can keep that in your ear, I already tuned this one to... I mean, they sound a lot different to my ear. Now this guitar is really old, and it's small guitar, but it really is a loud guitar. So I'm not talking about just sheer volume. And another word, for volume, a musical term for volume is dynamics. So dynamics means how loud, how soft. In our previous lessons, I've gone over a couple of what I use the term parameters. It's a big word, but it just means parts, you know, different parts of music. And rhythm is one of them. We went over that. Dynamics are how loud, how soft. You have pitch. Pitch is how you change the notes, so to speak, notes, pitch, by fretting the strings, fretting the strings. Okay, so that changes pitch. And then there's a big one called articulation. And I'm going to work on a little song here for you. In that song, we will utilize articulation. I know it sounds big, but all it means is just the way you hit the strings and how you move your fingers. So it's not that complicated, but color. Color is a very important aspect to music. So every morning, 9.30, for the rest of the month, we're having great classes. So Monday, it's violin. Violin, if played the same notes that I played, it would sound different. And what would sound different, the term that I like to use, or my instructors did, was color. So it's like tone, tone, color, okay? Voice, Tuesday and Friday. She, Rachel can change the sound of her voice, which is basically changing the color. It still might be the same pitch. Then Wednesdays we have trumpet, I believe, and percussion, and then Thursdays it's me, and Friday's voice again. Okay, so the ad is out of the way. Let's listen to this song. Now I'm using picks, so I'm going to use this song, and it's actually called Water Song. And it was written in 1973 by this guy named Jorma Kaukonen, okay? And it has different sections to it, to the song. So I'm going to go through a couple of the sections and then I'll hopefully be able to play the song for you. So he's got this part. He has this little part right here. So if I strum it. That's like a little mini progression. That sounds good being strummed, but if I was to finger pick it, use my in index, middle finger, and thumb, it would, I could do this. So it gives you like a flowing, rolling sound. When I do that, but the left hand, it's pretty much the same fretting. It's what we do with the right hand. And with playing any kind of guitar, it really is the right hand that hits the strings, that makes the music happen. I could just move this hand around all day. Nothing's going to happen unless I attack the string. Okay? So this little roll pattern, roll means it's like you're hitting certain strings and you do it over and over again. The 
then he repeats that four times. So that's one section to the song. It has one particular sound to it. It's, it's, I consider this like a composition, which is a fancy name for a song. The next part, he has a chord up the neck to this chord, to a chord. So we don't want to do the same thing all the time. So when I do that rolling pattern, when he comes up here, it's actually picking out a melody from the chord. Next chord, he picks out a melody. I'm just picking out notes with my right hand. Okay, now what did I do there? I slid. That's articulation. It's not that sounds big, but it's not. It just means Instead of me hitting notes there, I'm just going to come in. So I'm literally sliding to the position I want to be. So if you put that all together, it's... So that's another section, part of the song. Then he'll go. It's the same chords or shapes or pitch as the beginning, but he's not doing that roll pattern. He's going, he simplified it. So on that slide pattern, we're doing what we call double stops, meaning we're pushing down two strings, in this case, two sets of strings at the same time. So it's, that's a hammer on where you hit one, so you hammer down, you can hear the sound. That would be me plucking each one, and then the hammer on would sound a little different. Okay, so, and he links them together, hammer on, slide. another part which he bends and that's notes up here so what's really cool about this is with the open tuning of the guitar and the fact that you have extra strings just ringing through you want to utilize or use those open strings they're your friends they can get you from one place to the other on the guitar and they add a sound like a richness to the sound so I'm fretting which means shortening the length of strings I'm bending down I'm changing the pitch by doing this bend so I'm fretting one note but I've got three or four open strings happening just filling out the sound very end of the song he does what we call harmonics so that's where you can get a bell like sound that just rings out and you do that by just barely you barely touch the string on top of certain frets meaning the 12th the 7th and the 5th frets other strings other places aren't going to give you a harmonic. So if I went 
fourth fret, nothing happening. Eleventh fret, nothing happening. The twelfth fret, it's the cool thing. And you people play, make songs up. So you can just do all kinds of cool stuff with harmonics. But to me, you don't want to overuse them. It's just like, I like salt in my french fries, but I don't like too much salt on my french fries. So you, you want to use them where necessary. So we've gone over the difference of the sounds between 12 string and a 6 string guitar. Okay, We've gone over some of the parameters, big word I know, or music means basically parts of music with the slides, the hammer-ons, the roll patterns, just the strumming. So to make music, you want to incorporate all of these things, okay? Number one, you want it to be fun. <laughs> and that is what it will be, but it's going to take a little repetition and practice. And that's where good instructors come in. Rock Island Sound has wonderful instructors that can help you with any instrument really that you want to play. I personally teach guitar there, but they have other guitar teachers, you know, that are really good instructors. And if you get a good instructor and you put in the time and practice, you can play an instrument. Okay? So don't forget to tune in tomorrow with Rachel and I'm gonna play this song to get us out of here. It's your McCalkinen's water song, so I hope I can play it for you this morning.
And there you have it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please wear your mask. All right, this stuff isn't over. Stay tuned for more wonderful Westchester Children's Museum events. And if you need any of your musical supplies, any of that stuff, contact Rock Island Sound, Terrytown and Rye. Peace out.